Hi, and welcome to Oxen.net's uh, Oxen uh, tutorial on how to rewire MIDI from Ableton Live to Logic Pro. Um, this tutorial will cover the necessary steps to be able to use Ableton Live as a MIDI sequencer and be able to uh, rewire it straight into Logic to use all of Logic's software instruments and effects. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is uh, go to the audio and MIDI setup. Okay. And so what you're going to be looking for is the IAC driver. I'll double click on this and we're going to add another bus but we're going to name this one to logic. Okay. So once we get that, let's close this down. Let me close this down now. And now what we need to do first is to start up Ableton Live. And you need to start Ableton before you start Logic, so um, Ableton doesn't go into default uh, audio rewire mode and shuts down um, all MIDI uh, in and out. So the first thing we should do is go to Live Preferences, and we will go to um, into the input, and we need to make sure that all of these are turned off for the um, IAC driver. So let's just get these off here and make sure that they're on for the two logic. All right. So let's set the MIDI output to IAC driver, MIDI channel one. So Ableton is set up and ready to go. Now let's launch Logic Pro. Logic Pro, it, yeah, it prompts you. Um, you just want to ignore this. You want um, and just go straight into Logic. Okay, so there's just a basic um, template that only has one software instrument set up. So we need to do a couple quick things before we can get rolling. So we need to go to project settings and then go to recording. Okay, and we need to click auto demix by channel if multi-track recording. Okay, got that set. And now what we need to do is we need to go to the environment window and here it is. So once we get here, go to click and ports. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to get rid of this connection here that's a sum of all of the physical inputs. And we want to add one that's just from Logic, the two Logic bus we set as the IAC driver. Uh, let's close that down. Okay, and then we'll go to our instrument um, settings here, and we want to make sure that the MIDI channel is for one, the same MIDI channel we have set up in our Ableton sequencer. And so let's just add a quick software instrument here. Uh, we'll set an OR again. Okay, and let's go back to live. Let's pull up a clip here, and let's we'll add some just, you know, basic... MIDI information just to test it out. So, and there we go. And we can do another test to make sure that the the MIDI is correctly splitting and not just going all to one channel. So let's add another MIDI track here and set it to Logic. And then we'll go on channel two and uh, let's set up another drive another um, another track in the software insert inside of Logic. Okay, and we want to make sure this is on MIDI channel two. Okay, and we will add a different, um, a different sound here. Um, let's just add electric piano. Okay, and we want to make sure that the tracks are both armed. And let's just do. a um, quick test here to make sure that they're not overlapping. There we go. We got everything set up, so now it works, and now we can add and rewire and do whatever we want. So that's, uh, that concludes this tutorial. 
Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments section, and be sure to check out oxsend.net for more tutorials and news and blog posts and all that stuff.